Oh my gosh. Uh, what do I do? Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, what do I do? Uh, Dude, what is he saying? <laughs> Hello. Oh my god, you look so good. I'm obsessed. No, you look so good. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I want you and I want us. But then act like it. I'm sick of words. <laughs> Remember when you let that shit slide? Yeah, yeah, you thought we forgot, huh? Side eye. Side eye. I'm gonna rip you apart. I want to apologize. Did you get enough love, my little dove? Why do you cry? Dude, shut up. You shut up. This is the last love letter I received. Let me read it. Dear Pookie slash Googly Bear. <coughs> and I'm sorry I left, but it was for the best, though it never felt right. Bro. What? Calm down. Um, have you ever been heartbroken? Have you ever gotten constipated after a breakup? Have you ever forgotten how to live, laugh, love? Just a friendly reminder that if he seems like a good guy, he's not. Here are five basic vaginal hygiene tips you should have learned as a child, but if you didn't, it's okay because you have me now. Number one, always change out of your wet bikini or bathing suit immediately. The longer you stay in it, the bigger the chance of infection. Number two, don't hold your pee and always, always, always pee after you do the deed. We recently discussed this, but this is one that's going to be repeated as a basic standard, always. Number three, never, ever, ever use scented soaps down there. Number four, never, ever use scented products of any kind down there. No wipes, no panty liners, pads, laundry detergents for that go on your underwear with heavy fragrance, any of that stuff. No fragrances down there of any kind. Number five, and this is the most important one, so listen up. Never, ever, ever wipe back to front. Always wipe front to back because think about what you're transferring when you wipe in the other direction. If you've never learned these things, please don't be ashamed. There are many women out there who did not have guidance in these areas. And this has often been a conversation that has been very taboo. But you have me now and you're not alone. So go ahead and like and follow for more. Oh my god, I am dying. Why? I have like a massive spot on my flap. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can't eat. I can't sleep. I can't even fucking piss in peace, bro. Mm, did I tell you my uncle kissed me? What? Yeah, it actually wasn't that bad, you know? Hmm. Okay. Look how live, laugh, love my nudies are. <laughs> I don't want to see that. Why? It's just my boobies. <sighs> I'm literally constipated. Say something! What? Well, imagine how I feel! Plastic. <laughs> I mean, what 
if I don't want to live the way you live. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Andrea. Everybody wants this. Shut up. It is not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Look at this. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, my God. Isn't it great? Chris. I know. It's my dream. <laughs> you disgust me. Awesome real shit. <laughs> oh. Bet, 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 I don't even have time for a boyfriend right now. Like the last thing on my mind is a man. She wouldn't hurt me and you lied. And I thought you wouldn't do that. And I thought someone genuinely cared about me and I was wrong. Don't worry, honey. She's pretty. So if you don't text her, somebody else will. You should see me in the crowd. Now let's see what we got. That's not a coping skill. Oh, I can't do it! I can't do it! I can't do it! I can't do it! Lord, no! Yes! 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 Bingo! Yes, bingo! I'll have what she's yes. having. Oops, got your coping skills. Now let's see what we got. That's not a coping skill. EA Sports, it's in the game. These are the three biggest signs that a man really likes you. Number one is when he tries to be good at whatever you're watching him do. Because he wants you to be impressed. Number two, he will feel what you're feeling. He'll be down when you're feeling sad, but then he'll also be really happy when you're happy. He can't even try to hide this. Number three, he may not like it or agree with it, but he will value your opinion. Actually, at this level, he's probably in love with you. If I missed any, let me know. You wish that was you, huh? <laughs> All females have at least two of these six things. A white fluffy dog. An online shopping addiction. A dented car that you haven't had serviced in over a year and you have no idea when the oil was last changed. The same bra you have had for literally 10 years. A gut or bloating issue which you say isn't a gut or bloating issue. An overdue credit card bill. Let me tell you three weird things about being a girl. If we pee and there's no toilet paper, we've wiped with like a towel on the ground or a shirt or something like whatever's around us. If we fart on a hard chair, that bubble goes straight up into our vagina. Comes out, travels, and goes back up. If we wiggle around enough, it comes out soft out the top. I don't care if p girls aren't getting along or that you're, it's not your friend. If it, When it comes to period stuff, if someone needs a pad or a tampon, the girls show up. You'd go up to any stranger anywhere and say, hey, I just started my period. Do you have a tampon in your purse? No questions asked. You'd be like, yes. Oh, no, no. This, this, this can't be. Hmm. Hmm. No. Um. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's... Simple trick to wake up happy. Before you go to bed, it is really important that you put yourself in a good mood. You can do this by thinking about something positive that happened that day or by imagining a positive scenario. I'm going to rip you apart. I want to apologize. How to read people's minds by using their body language, part two. Whenever we touch ourselves or someone else touches us, oxytocin is released in our body. This is why people that are not comfortable touch themselves a lot, because it brings their body in a state of comfort. Just a friendly reminder that if he seems like a good guy, he's not. How to make people like you using your body language, part one. When you meet someone, raise your eyebrows. This is a sign that you like what you see. 
and this is communicating to their subconscious mind that you two are friends. This is also a way to tell if someone likes you. Thank you.